My favorite painting in the museum is the painting behind me. It was painted in about 1855 by an itinerant painter. He came to the tavern of Alva Willis. Alva Willis is actually one of the guys in the canoe up there. The other guy is a Colonel Pettibone. Not sure which one is Alva, which one's Colonel Pettibone. So this itinerant painter comes into uh, Alva Willis's tavern in Elba and says, you know, Mr. Willis, I'll paint a portrait of anything you want in exchange for some room and board and a little bit of money. Alva Willis says, well, why don't you paint a picture of my son, Charlie? And this is Charlie Willis. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, that's a boy? Well, it is a boy. Uh, Charlie Willis is about five years old at this time when the portrait was painted. One of the reasons you know that it's a boy is because he's doing a traditional male activity and that's why he's holding the fish. Why is Charlie wearing a dress? Now, there's two theories. First theory is that why boys wore dresses up until this time, it's easier to potty train a boy. But we got to kind of throw that out the window because, you know, look at, look at Charlie here. He's five years old. You know, I was potty trained by the time I was five. I hope that you were too. So the other reason is, is a thing what I call the Sunday best theory. Now, back in the olden days, the central meeting place was church. There was also a thing called the pew tax where, you know, the the parishioners would pay rent money for a particular pew. And obviously the, the wealthier people would sit up front. It's just like when you go to the muck dog game today. The seats in front, they cost more. So let's, let's take for instance, you're sitting there, you're waiting for church to begin. The doors are always behind you. Whatever church you ever go to, they're always behind you. And if you're waiting for your service to begin, every time those doors open, what do you do? You always turn around to look, see who's coming in. So the wealthier people would be sitting up front, and so what they would do is they would dress their children up in the fanciest clothes that they could. So they could parade their children up in front of the parishioners. That's another theory about why boys wore dresses. Now let's look at this thing. Look, look at this outfit. It's a very expensive dress for the time. If we look at the detail in the stitching there, you know, the pantaloons with the fancy, uh, fancy lace here, the hat, the hat has an ostrich feather. Now, ostrich feather. Now how many ostriches do you think were running around Genesee County in 1855? Not many. None at all actually. So this is a very expensive thing to import. That's the second theory. I kind of lean towards that theory today. So this is one of the great and unique things that you can come see at the Holland Land Office Museum.